question, categorical thinking versus systems thinking. I, I'll jump deep just for a moment. You know, we, we evolved with a five sense perception and we are very tangible. We want to palpably understand and perceive, but it's also very limited. Uh, we think categorically. We identify things by objects and words and subjects. And we tend to organize our sense of causality categorically in a very narrow or I would say truncated frame of reference. And this has permeated just about every major social facet from the way we think about the legal structure, the way we think about economics, of course. Um, I'll, it, 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 even, of course, as you mentioned, activism, which everyone seems to really mean well. They really want to resolve problems. They're going to their state legislatures to try and get legal legislation in place to say stop climate destabilization, stop the resource overshoot. That is dramatic. It's been estimated we need 27 more Earths by 2050 to meet demand of the 9.5 billion people coming. And I, I'm, I'm sure you're very aware of all the other uh, social and ecological issues that pertain to this. And these resolutions are trying to use a system that in, in the interpretation of the movement in which the system's awareness is actually flawed in and of itself as well, is actually completely vulnerable to the wrong propensities, which is essentially the nature of the market system and its influence to stop this type of, of interest in efficiency, preservation, and sustainability. Efficiency, preservation, and sustainability are the enemies of the current socioeconomic system. Now, that's a, a slight deviation. Systems thinking, which I'll jump to in, in more of an intense manner, has to do with a, the largest causal technical reality you can conceive of, which wasn't, a, wasn't in our awareness in early evolution. We, it was all purely tangible. It took the scientific method to come forward to start to realize, say, for example, dynamic equilibrium, to look at a forest and instead of cutting the whole thing down and realizing that it's not regenerating fast enough based on the consumption of it, to actually be able to measure this, to be able to measure the planet, to be able to measure energy consumption versus resource availability. These are basic, fundamental sustainability and efficiency aspects that you'll see throughout anyone that's involved in the technical sciences. And sadly enough, our social system doesn't have any of those qualifications built in. Um, it's a, it's a, the legal system, I'll throw that one out there as, as a final point, as this, again, this, this contrast between categorical thinking and systems thinking. The legal system is explicitly based on the idea of humans' free will and their decision, as though there's no other influences, to make this or that choice that may or may not be socially offensive. So when we throw people in jail, is that a solution to anything? And statistically speaking, most people that go to jail come out with a higher propensity to commit more crimes. So clearly it doesn't work in the long run. And it's obviously not addressing the system consequence. And anyone that you talk to in the basic public health sciences will tell you that the leading cause of crime and violence is deprivation. What's the leading cause of deprivation? Social imbalance, inequity. So if you want to stop a lot of these uh, huge negative tendencies and violence and, and, and aberrant behavior, the best solution at this point is to reduce dramatically class inequality and give people what they need to limit deprivation. So there's a, a good example. And